It's Friday, March 26th here in Seoul. Happy Friday, everyone. It's Debbie from Korea now with the headlines for today. It's officially cherry blossom season here in Korea. In fact, Seoul saw its first cherry blossom blooming this year on Wednesday, the earliest in 99 years. The weather agency explained that the flowers came sooner than expected this year due to higher than average temperatures and longer daylight hours. And with the weather getting warmer, more people are wanting to get outside, which can also lead to more spending. The latest data from Bank of Korea show that the country's consumer sentiment rose to above 100 in March, which indicates that optimists now outnumber pessimists. The IMF also raised its growth outlook for Korea this year to 3.6%, up 0.5 percentage points from its January forecast. The IMF said it expects Korea's economy to recover based on solid exports and the country's supportive economic policies amid the pandemic. North Korea has confirmed that it test-fired new ballistic missiles on Thursday. The KCNA said Friday that the launch was very successful and that the new tactical guided missiles have an improved warhead of 2.5 tons. Observers say this could be an upgraded version of the KN-23 missile, which resembles Russia's Iskander. This confirms North Korea's first missile test since U.S. President Joe Biden took office. On Thursday, Biden said the U.S. remains open to diplomacy with North Korea despite its missile tests this week, but he added that the U.S. will respond accordingly if North Korea continues to escalate tensions. The UN Sanctions Committee on North Korea is also set to meet on Friday to discuss the recent launch at the request of the US. It's been confirmed that the drama shows on Exorcist will be cancelled due to historical distortions that made a lot of Koreans angry. The drama has been under fire for using Chinese-style props in what's supposed to be Korea's Joseon era. This also came at a time of rising cultural tensions between Korea and China over China's recent claims to kimchi and hanbok, which made Koreans even more upset by the drama. As of Thursday, more than 150,000 people signed an online petition asking for the drama to be taken off the air. Following the controversy, the producers announced on Friday that the drama will be cancelled mainly because it no longer has the resources to continue after losing most of its sponsors amid the backlash. And those are your top stories. For full link articles, you can check out our official website, link down below. As always, make sure to subscribe to Korea Now for more daily updates.